Hey, what's up, Titan Nation? It's Mr. Jebson. I want to talk to you guys real quickly about um, kind of some, some difficult things that have been going on with COVID. Uh, we have been hit here at Titan Nation with now our second COVID positive student. We, uh, we sent out uh, an email the other day and we, we had quite a few that had to be quarantined. We have um, about 75% of our students at school, and that means a lot of our classes are not big enough to socially distance, so quite a few students also had to be quarantined. And that means that the risk is that they've been exposed to it. Now, nobody that was exposed to the students that were exposed has to quarantine at this point unless, unless those students start developing symptoms. Anybody, if, if you sat next to somebody that sat next to somebody, at that point you're a secondary contact and the concern isn't there unless they show symptoms. Uh, I do want people to know, one, our, our thoughts and prayers and concern is out for anybody that is sick. This is a sickness that can be very serious, um, and so we just want to share that concern. I also want to share for the students that are here, um, nobody gets sick on purpose. I know that the students that have dealt with this uh, are doing the right things, are, are wearing their mask all the time, at least when they're at school and around people, um, are, are washing their hands regularly, are distancing when possible. I don't think that's it, and it's hard to track. Obviously, this is an invisible disease, and so it's hard to tell what causes it at any time. We can kind of go back and track and, and try to figure out where might it have come from. They also track who might have been exposed, and that's the reason for the quarantines. If you haven't experienced that, I just I kind of want to say what that's like. Um, I know it bothered some students when they saw their classmates get called to the office and not come back. Uh, those people aren't in any trouble, but kind of the way it works is uh, timing is really important. So as soon as we find out that somebody has been diagnosed positively with COVID, our district health coordinator, maybe an administrator, assistant principal or somebody goes with them, and what they're doing is they're checking seating charts for different classes where that COVID positive student was um, and then they're measuring to make sure, hey, is this greater than six feet or less than six feet? Any cases that are less than six feet apart for more than 15 minutes, even with, and I know we're always wearing our masks, but even at that rate, those students have to be separated, quarantined. They're, they work from home as long as they feel healthy for the next little while. Um, so that's, that's the way it works, and we try to do that quickly because somebody that has been exposed potentially, it's a smaller potential, but potentially could be carrying the COVID sickness, and we want to make sure that that's not getting passed again. That's why we try to call them out of class as quick as we can, move them down to the office, and let them wait in a special room for their parent where they're not going to come in contact with other people. Uh, it's, it's no fun. This, this isn't good, but it's the situation we're in now. I also want to encourage people not to blame anybody. Um, I, I know there's been some negativity about, oh, it's so-and-so's fault that I'm out of school. That's, that's not it. It's not their fault necessarily that they got sick. Um, same thing goes that, um, you know, oh, so-and-so let us down because they're in quarantine and they can't be on our team for X, Y, or Z. That, that's not it at all. Um, I, I really think this is a chance for us to um, come together, even though we're apart as a, a school community and to try to show some support for students that have to quarantine, show support for students that are sick, and just let them know our, our, our thoughts and prayers are out for them. Man, I, you know, maybe reach out to your friends and let them know you feel bad they're in the situation. This is not something that anybody wants, whether it's quarantine or COVID positive. This is not a, a, a positive thing, so to speak. Um, at the same time, I just want to encourage people to, um, to to do the right things, to continue to wear the masks and to wash your hands and to socially distance because those are the things we know um, that are working. So please continue to do those things. Continue to make your best effort um, no matter where you are. Please, if you're showing COVID symptoms, just don't come to school. Um, if you have a fever, obviously we're going to try to catch that as you come in the building. Uh, but in addition to that, if there's other symptoms where you're not feeling well, try to stay home. One other thing is people are tempted to talk about um, when somebody is sick or quarantined and, and start throwing their name around and so and so sick and so and so is, um, you know, quarantined, this and that. It's really not our business uh, unless you're a school administrator or unless you are a health professional that's helping that student. It's really not anybody else's business. And so that's where I, I need everybody to just kind of you know, tunnel vision for a minute. Again, if it's one of your friends, feel free to reach out to them and encourage them through what's probably a challenging time for them. But otherwise, do you focus on school. So let's keep doing the right things. And 
and I appreciate all of you guys and your efforts. And I love you, Titan Nation. Keep up the good work.